In this lesson, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the instructional features that are available to you in Moodle. Now that we've completed navigating the dashboard, what we're going to do now is we are going to log into one of our courses and I'm going to go over here to the left panel and click on the class or the course that I want to go ahead and start looking at. And when we're looking at the course, it typically is going to be a completely blank shell, which means it's not going to have any content whatsoever other than the standard announcement right there. And, and this is something that is typically added to all Moodle courses, but you're more than welcome to remove this if you want to or relabel it. And this is basically the general announcements that you can post to your classes. And you can customize the announcements so you can determine whether or not um, it is forced or not forced. Forced means that all of the students are going to get the announcement um, and unforced or uh, gives the students the option to unsubscribe so that if they don't want to keep getting the announcements by email, um, they can opt out of that, but the announcements will still be posted on the Moodle course itself. So they can still log into the course and they will still be able to see the announcements when they go here. Now, in terms of looking at some of the tools and features that Moodle offers you as an instructor or as a teacher, what you'll need to do to be able to review that is go over to Turn Editing On and click on that. And you'll notice that now you've got a slightly different view. Uh, you've got the topics and uh, you can move these around if you want to. You can edit them by clicking on the little, little pencil icon. But we're not going to deal with the topics at this point. Right now, we're just going to be looking at the features and that is going to be listed under add an activity or resource. So you will have that basically in every single topic. And these, these are currently listed as topics, but you can change that to uh, week one, week two, week three, if you want to. Um, or you can actually label them by the, the, the topic itself. It could be introduction to accounting, or it could be introduction to American history, or whatever the topic is that you're going to be uh, teaching. So we're going to go ahead and click on add an activity or resource to basically see what is available here. And Moodle offers you a lot of resources. And you'll notice at the very top there's a tab listed as all and then activities and resources. So activities and resources basically are filtered versions of everything that's over here. So if, if I click on activities, you'll see that it shows you activities. And these are things that you can list on your course and you can actually attach them to a grade if you want to. Resources are typically things that you will provide for students to access to get access to material. It could be images, it could be files, it could be links, uh, it could be a variety of things, but typically resources don't really have a grade attached to them. Now, the, the very nice thing about Moodle is that while sometimes this can be overwhelming when you're first uh, looking at this list, if you scroll over to the little eye icon here, let me go to zoom in and click on it, this basically provides you with a little information and it, it explains in detail what every single one of these activities does. Uh, some of them are self-explanatory, so you don't you won't even need to read this. Uh, so for assignments, this is if you've got an assignment that you want to issue out to a student, you can go ahead and create this, put a description, a, con a title, uh, attach a score or a grade to it, and it'll appear in your gradebook. Um, and um, students also have the ability with the assignment to download a file perhaps if you want them to download something, a spreadsheet or a document and complete that and then upload that back, they'll be able to do that through uh, the assignment option. Now we're not going to go through all of these because this is a basic course so for beginners so we're only going to be focusing on a few things that we're mo most faculty or most teachers are going to um, most likely going to use in, in, a, in a class when they're first starting off. Some of these things, some of the tools listed over here are a bit more advanced and I might be doing a, another course that goes into some of the advanced features or, or um, activities that you could use also in Moodle. Um, but this course is really designed for beginners to basically get you started building your course so that you're able to go out and teach it right off the bat uh, with some of the critical tools or the essential tools that you would need as a teacher. All right, um, let's look at the activities just to get basically less icons on the screen. The chat basically allows you to create a text-based chat. It's a bit of an outdated technology at this point, but um, it, it's still a useful tool, especially if you want to put students in groups so that they're able to chat with each other directly and 
you know, there's always the opportunity or the chance that some of your students may not have access to a microphone or a camera, so they're not able to basically visually be on the screen, but they're still able to chat with their classmates. So this provides them with a place where they can basically engage in uh, uh, text chat. It's also an option for you as a teacher to build a chat where students can interact with you, perhaps if they missed a class and you want to communicate with them. Uh, so you could have a synchronous session with them. Choice is an option or an activity that you can include if you basically want to ask students a quick little question. Um, and it's usually just a one-off type of a multiple choice type of question. Uh, a database allows you to you and the students also to work on building a database together and creating filters. We're not going to cover that uh, at this point or the external tools. Uh, but in in uh, in a We're not going to cover database or external tools at this point because they're a bit more advanced and um, most instructors don't really use the database feature. We're not going to, we're going to skip over database and external for right now. Uh, feedback is an activity that some teachers like to include in a course at the very end of a uh, topic or a chapter or at the end of a course and it's an opportunity for you to get feedback from your students about um, whether they understood the material, whether the um, a pedagogy that you use was effective in teaching that particular topic or the entire course. Uh, forum is a great way to have group discussions or have topical discussions and you can actually grade this. Um, personally I've used uh, forums in almost all of my courses. Um, and I typically have several forms of discussion forums for students to basically engage in peer-to-peer -peer, uh, discussions, dialogue, and also peer-to-peer -peer learning. Uh, glossary is exactly what it means. Um, you're able to create a glossary for, for the uh, course that you're teaching um, and basically provide a list of uh, words uh, uh, that, that students are going to encounter throughout the entire course. Uh, H5P is not something that we'll cover, but it basically stands for HTML5. Um, it's a type of technology that allows you to create interactive content uh, for your students. It's a very cool technology, uh, but this is probably more of an intermediate level uh, uh, of a activity that for, for you to learn as an instructor. Uh, same thing with lessons. It allows you to create basically lessons that, that are grouped and sequenced in a particular order. Uh, it allows you as an instructor, as a teacher, to create uh, different pathways for students. Um, you're able to even uh, ensure that students do not move on to the next section if they don't complete the prior one or to be redirected if they did not master competency in a particular uh, subject matter. Uh, quiz is basically the activity that allows you to create quizzes, uh, exams, in, in a variety of different types of question types. So if we look at the description, uh, these are some of the uh, examples of uh, things that you can include. You can do multiple choice, matching questions, short answers, numerical. You could also do um, fill in the blanks, and you can also do um, essay type of questions um, using the uh, quiz um, activity or um, feature. And if you click on add, this is basically where it allows you to create the, a quiz. We're going to skip over SCORM. Wiki is a useful tool if you plan on um, having your students actively engaged in participating in Wiki can be a useful tool if you plan on having students either independently or as groups basically start creating content that's related to topics or the course that they're learning. It's basically a course version of Wikipedia, so your students can actually create wikis for the course that they're in. You could also have them create wikis for a project or a particular topic. All right, we're going to move over to resources now. And in resources, you've got several things that you could actually add to your Moodle course. The first one is a book. 
Book is a resource that allows you to create an actual book on Moodle. So you're able to basically type in the title of a chapter and the content of a chapter directly into this uh, resource and it would create the table of contents for you. It's useful if you've got your own little book that you've created or um, if you've got access to open source content that you want to include into your Moodle course. Um, I do have to say though this is extremely time consuming to build. Uh, file basically is a feature that allows you to upload and share files with your students that they can download and it could be a variety of different types of files that you can have them download. It could be images, PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, pretty much any file type that you want your students to be able to download you can upload it through this feature right here. Folder is exactly what it basically sounds like. You're able to add a folder onto a particular topic or a week and within that folder you can include a file or a book or links or pretty much any resources within the, f uh, within the folder. It allows you basically to group things within a folder. And I'll give you an example of how I personally use folders. I like to create folders sometimes for assignments that have multiple attachments or documents like a portfolio that requires a student to perhaps uh, fill in some forms and uh, complete a spreadsheet and maybe also engage in some other activities. So it's a great way for you to kind of group things within a folder instead of basically having a long list of activities just listed. Label is, an, is a way for you to create a title or a label above a group of topics or activities if you want to. And page is a way for you to add an actual page within a topic. Um, so if you want to create a page that basically has some information, just a one pager instead of a folder, you can also do that. URL allows you to create a link that students can click on from Moodle to an outside website. And this includes our overview of the instructional features available to you as a teacher in Moodle. So this was a basic overview of the tools and resources that are available to you in Moodle. These are the bare minimum basic tools that are built into Moodle. However, your institution may have included some additional tools that are not listed here. For example, some institutions have embedded Google Drive or external tools such as Zoom as a part of Moodle or added a uh, um, external tool called Big Blue Button that allows a teacher to pretty much do everything that uh, Zoom does. Uh, so an instructor can do live um, lectures and presentations and share their screen and also chat with the students um, all within Moodle. So what I'm showing you is basically the bare minimum as your institution may have some additional tools. So this is not a comprehensive list. This was basically a overview of what is currently available in Moodle when it comes basically straight out of uh, the box. And um, as we go through this course, we are actually going to practice creating an assignment and using some of the other activities and resources available to you in Moodle. And as we go through the course, you're probably going to see some additional external tool that I may have uploaded as well, and I'll walk you through that as well.